Hi booktube, Sarah here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a book haul. This is my May 2020 physical book haul. So this is going to be done in parts. Um, I did not want to sit on all these books considering we're moving and all those things that I do plan on getting. Books are going to be trickling in over the next, um, you know, month. So what I thought I would do is film this in parts that when I got some books, I would sit down and film them. So you're going to see different backgrounds, different shirts, probably different lighting. But um, I thought that this would be a fun way to do it. Um, and uh, kind of like uh, a book haul, vlog style. <laughs> so we got another book deposit or book, book outlet order. Because um, right after I ordered the first one, within a few days, I, of course, they now send you ads on like everything, you know, like on... Um, you know, you're on Facebook and an ad for book uh, outlet pops up or I'm on Goodreads and an ad pops up and I happen to see a book and I went, oh, I want that book. And then I started looking at stuff and then my husband started looking at some stuff too. So there is some stuff for my husband in here as well. I'll show you that briefly, but it is Garrett's. It's not mine. Plus there's also a birthday present for my nephew in here too. So, um, and his birthday's not till June. So I'm not going to show that. I don't think my sister-in-law watches these. I'm almost guaranteed she doesn't, but to be cautious, I'm not going to show that either. Um, but yeah, I, I just, this is, you know, I've got to stop and I've got to like limit myself to one of these orders a month because <laughs> this could get dangerous. Um, so, and, and I've always said the book outlet is like touch and go. Sometimes I find stuff. A lot of times I don't. Um, it all depends because it is an overstock, um, you know, thing, right? So, uh, so it's not like they have like a set amount of stock like Amazon or something like that. You know what I mean? So I'm just cracking open the box here. I'm not sitting on the floor this time. I kind of wish I had because it would make life easier. You get all the faces when I open these boxes. <laughs> so we have got more paper and even more paper. So, holy cow. Yikes. We also have an invoice, um, which we don't care about. So first off, I had seen this book going around. I saw it on Amazon. Clearly this came from um, Target. But it's called Curvy Yoga. And it is um, yoga as a tool for body acceptance. So it is like a yoga. Um, it does have like um, uh, different um, poses and things like that in here. But it's also, I guess, kind of like her own personal journey. Um, love yourself and your body a little more each day. And I kind of love that because you always see... These like, and I'm not generalizing as, you know, but it's true. Like if you go on Instagram and you type in yoga, you're going to see all these super skinny, super adorable girls in their cute little yoga pants and stuff like that doing yoga. I want someone who looks like me. You know what I mean? So yeah, so I am really excited about this one. And what's the name? Anna Guest Jelly is her name. So there's that book. And the next one that I got was, I'm so excited about this one. Oh, it looks like it's going to be so good. The Glass Ocean by Beatrice Williams, Lauren Will, uh, Wilg, and Karen White. This is about, this is a historical fiction uh, from the New York Times bestselling authors of The Forgotten Room comes a captivating historical mystery that links the two lives, links the lives of three women, two from the past, one from the present, to the doomed passenger liner RMS Lusitania. Does that not sound awesome? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Not as gorgeous as a hardcover. It's, oh, it's even got deckled edges and stuff like that. Oh, it's beautiful. So yeah, so that's going to be fantastic. Then I have my nephew's birthday present. I'll just show you guys really quick. It doesn't matter. Jonathan's not going to watch this. So, uh, you know, I already warned my sister-in-law at the beginning of this. So it's a Paw Patrol book and it's um, got three stories in it. And then it's got this little watch that he can put on and it's a projector. So when he shows it at the wall, it'll show things. Is that not cute? So yeah, he's going to be three. So I thought this was kind of a appropriate. So yeah, it's got little stories in here that his mom and dad can read him. But the little, I got it because of the watch. I thought that was the best part. So there's that for my nephew. So here's some of my husband's stuff. So he got Transformers Redemption of the Dinobots. He got some graphic novels because he didn't realize that they had graphic novels. Um, and, uh, they're really, really affordable as compared to like on Amazon or something. Um, again, you've got to kind of hunt and peck for them because they're not going to have everything, but then he got this one too, Optimus Prime. 
He's really getting into Transformers lately. I mean, he was into Transformers when he was a kid, but you know what I mean. And then, let me just see if there's anything else. Oh, yes, and this is the other thing that he got. Uh, Imperial Assault Book... Uh, Assault, I don't know, Book and Model. Make your own ATST. I don't know what that is. Clearly, it's a Star Wars something or another. So, yeah, so that's what he got. That's actually pretty cool. Here you go, dear. Come get your presents. <laughs> He's doing the grabby hands motion. <laughs> We can't see you on camera, but that's okay. <laughs> He's like, good. <laughs> it's got a model. It's got a model. And then I got this one. Oh, guys, I'm so excited about this. So this is A Perilous Undertaking by Deanna Rayburn. I think it's the first book in, in a Veronica Speedwell mystery series. It's a nice floppy trade paperback, which I love. Um, and this is like a historical mystery series. And I heard Steve talking, Steve Donahue talking about the newest one. And I just thought I want to give them a try. And what gorgeous covers those are, eh? Like, even the, the spine is just lovely. So, yeah. So, I got that, too. I got this one, which I've heard a lot of people talking about. It's got a sticker on the front. Oh, that comes off super easy. Oh, I love that. This is The Dry by Jane Harper. I've heard about this book for months, or for years, actually. I believe it's set in Australia, and it's something I'm not sure exactly what it has to do with. But I heard Karen from Rather Be reading about it. It deals with a federal agent. Um... I guess somebody passes away and the guy comes back to... Sometimes it's the smallest of towns that hide the biggest secrets. True fact. So yeah, a gorgeous hardcover edition. I'd seen a couple of editions of this already going through Book Outlet. And one of them had like a woman's face on the cover and I didn't love that as much. I like this just very simple cover. So I'm very excited about that one. Then I got this one. This is a series that if you guys have been watching me for the last little while, you know I've been kind of falling in love with in a way. As much as you can fall in love with, like, a, um, a series of books where people get brutally murdered. Um, but this is the um, uh, the uh, Kate Burke Holder series. This is Shamed by Linda Castillo. And it's a hardcover edition. So this is a series of books about a woman who is the chief of police in a small community that has, you know, about half Amish, half Englisher um, people. And, uh, and yeah, when I saw this one on hardcover, I thought, oh, why not? Um... Painter's Mill, yeah. Uh, the peaceful town of Painter's Mill is shattered when an Amish grandmother is brutally murdered in an abandoned farm. I am interested already. So yeah, so this one should be good. I'm really enjoying because the first three I've listened to, and I've listened to them on audio, and they've been great. But if I can get, a, like, you know, read this on in hardcover. And there's our author on the back. Isn't she pretty? Very nice. And last but not least, I got another historical romance in hardcover anytime i see these i immediately pick them up because it makes me so excited and this is governess gone rogue by laura lee girk um look at that you guys isn't that lovely a hardcover you never see these except on book outlet i don't know like even in my like if i go to chapters indigo and i look at the new releases if it's a new release you know historical romance nine times out of ten it's going to be in a mass market paperback but clearly they do produce them as hardcovers. Where are these being sold? Like, are these strictly just going to libraries? Or, you know, I'm just curious because I'm not complaining that I'm picking them up for like five bucks on Book Outlet. But I would, I'm just interested to know because I, they're beautiful. They're absolutely lovely. Again, the only thing that they're missing is the step back, which I do miss the step back. I, I like a good step back in my books. But um, yeah, so... This one, it should be really good. I think this might be first in a series, but I'm not absolutely certain. Um, oh, no, this is the third book, I think. It says, praise for the first two novels in USA Today bestselling author Laura Lee Girk's Dear Lady True Love series. So the first book is The Truth About Love and Dukes, then The Trouble with True Love, and now we've got Governess Gone Rogue. Maybe this, I don't know if this, this is the third book. It doesn't seem to go with, um, to go with anything, to, to go with the titles of the first two. So I am not absolutely certain. I really wish that somewhere they would tell you. You know what I mean? Like, this is the third book or blah, blah, blah. So there we go. But anyway, so there's my book outlet haul. There will be more to come in this video. So stay tuned. Hi, everybody. Welcome to part two. I know I filmed part one of this weeks and weeks ago. Um, and I did mention in that video that, you know, you're probably going to get different backgrounds and things like that in this video. But here we are with part two of the book haul. Today I have got books that I've picked up at Walmart and Chapters, and I also have 
more unboxing from the lovely people over at Thrift Books. And I also have a, another um, um, unboxing from um, Book Adjacent. And um, I'm also going to probably still have one more clip to add to this of books that I ordered from Harlequin. So by the time you guys see this, it will have surpassed the whole month of May. But yeah, let me show you guys what I bought. So we'll start off with the book, uh, the books that are like from Walmart and Chapters. And um, so I joined a book club, an online book club. Um, the group on Goodreads is the Nothing But, uh, Nothing but Reading Challenges group. And they do kind of a book of the month um, um, <clears throat> book club where everybody reads the same book. So there's two different books that they, they post every month. And the first one is usually an adult fiction novel. Um, and the second one is um, usually a YA, but I went with the adult one. And I saw it and I looked at my library and there was gonna be a ridiculously long lead time. And then I thought, okay, maybe I'll just buy a copy because it looks really cute and I hope I'm gonna like it. And um, the Kindle edition of this book was only $5 cheaper than the hardcover. So of course I'm gonna go ahead and buy the hardcover. And that book is The Jet Setters by um, Amanda, uh, I think it's Erin, E-Y-R-E, or Amanda Eery, maybe, Ward. So yeah, I'm very, very much looking forward to this. This is a Reese's Book Club pick. And, uh, you know, there's uh, there's a couple of the books that I've read from the Reese's Book Club pick that I've actually really liked. So I'm hopeful on this one. But it looks like it's going to be a great summertime read. And like I said, for only a few dollars more than the Kindle edition, I couldn't say no to this one. So yeah, so I decided to pick up a physical copy. Then the rest of these are all from Walmart. A couple weeks ago I was in Walmart and I always I always look at the books. And I saw this, I mentioned this one in a vlog, but I thought I'd show it here to you guys as well. And I got Undercurrents by Nora Roberts. This is her newest one, I think, but it just came out in trade paperback and it was 40% off. You know, if books are 40% off, I'm, I'm pro probably gonna buy it. I was looking at it on hardcover when it originally came out and I'm like, I can't justify even 40% off of like a $35 price tag, but 40% off a $20 price tag is much more reasonable to me. So yeah, I picked this one up. I believe this is like a romantic suspense, but the cover is just gorgeous. And yeah, I'm looking forward to getting to this one. And then just today I went to Walmart um, to pick up some groceries and things. And of course I had to look at the books and they had this one, which surprised me because this is not a new release. A lot of people have read this and they really, really liked it. And I wanted to get my hands on it. It's funny because just last night I was watching a video from Karen over at Rather Be Reading. And she mentioned, I think this was like one of her throwback videos where she talks about her favorite books over the past five years and then she's going to make a cumulative list and decide what her top ten or whatever is of the last five years of being on BookTube. And um, she talked about this one. I think it was like the, her second favorite book of that year. And I really want to read, and I, again, I looked at the library website and there's a long hold on both the audio and, you know, the ebook. And then I looked at Amazon and I'm like, I don't really want to pay that for the Kindle edition because it was still going to be something like well over $10. And then they had it for 40% off for the trade paperback. And I really like the cover of this one. Um, that was the other thing is I didn't really like the cover of the hardcover, like the hardcover edition. I like this cover better. And I'm sure all of you have heard of this book. It is Educated by Tara Westover. So this is a memoir of a woman who I believe kind of grew up in like not a commune situation, but um, they were definitely off grid and she really wasn't educated and it wasn't until she left and started getting educated. So that's the story. So I think I'm definitely going to save this for nonfiction November because it, it is being a mem uh, it is a memoir. So it would fit that. And I'm really, really excited about this one. But again, I really like the cover and it was 40% off. And like I said, it's not a new release. So maybe it's new on paperback. So check your Walmarts if you guys are looking to pick this one up. And then our Walmart has, um, in Canada, um, two mass market paperbacks um, for $15, which is really good considering one of these was $12.99. And the other one was what, $10.99? $10.99. So I essentially got a two for one on this one. And I picked up the brand new Eloisa James um, that I talked about in my last month's Anticipated Reads. Super, super excited about this one. Um, you guys will have already seen my my um, my June TBR. So you know I'm reading the first book of the series in June. So I'm looking forward to getting to this one eventually. That is one of my favorite covers. Her dress is just stunning. But yeah, two for $15. Why the heck? Oh, let's look at the step back, you guys. Isn't that pretty? 
very nice. So yeah, so like I said, if you saw my June TBR, you know that I'm reading the first one in June. And then the other one I got was the newer Heather Graham. I don't know if this is the newest one in the crew of Hunters, but I'm super excited to have it because it's a little bit different than a, tr than a mass market paperback. And I'll show you guys the difference in a second. I couldn't tell originally from looking at it on the shelf, um, but it's a little bit thinner than a regular mass market. Um, and it's Seeing Darkness by Heather Graham, sorry. But just look at this, you guys. I, have you seen any paperbacks like this as well? Look at the size difference. Like, I've got them, like, edge to edge. And it's a little bit higher and a little bit... I can see a lot of my booktube friends out there who need to have, like, matchy-matchy books. This, this causing them to lose their minds. <laughs> it won't bother me in the least. It doesn't bother me. I kind of like having a bookshop that looks all random. And I do... These are... The books behind me are not organized right now. I just put them there to put something on the shelf behind me. But this week, the movers come... Actually, the day that you guys are seeing this is when the movers will probably be moving stuff in here. And I'll be spending the next few days organizing these shelves behind me. They will go in author. Um, how I arrange my books is by author and then by publication date. So if I have many by the same author, they'll go by publication date. But unless it's a series, a series I will try and keep together, even if there's other books with... Does that make sense? Like, you know, maybe Eloisa James published this one and then published a different one from another series. I'll keep a series together but it's always like the authors go together. Um, so yeah, um, I'm looking forward to getting these on the shelf. So that is the physical books that are, are, well, they're all physical books, this entire book haul. But let's get into the unboxing. So, or the unpackaging, I should say. So there are, oh wow, what is this? I have no idea what this is, but it came from the UK, so I'm intrigued. So you guys are going to get to see some mail with me. So I've got one, two, three, four, five from Thrift Books, you guys. I ordered these in early April, but the mail has been so delayed with the pandemic and all those things that I was getting worried because these were being shipped to my old address. And when Garrett and I stopped by tonight to drop off some things and to pick up some things, like we dropped off boxes so I can go tomorrow and do some more packing. Um, because the movers are coming the day after tomorrow. <laughs> Actually, you guys will see this after, a week after the move, um, the official move part of it. But, um, but yeah, it took that long to get here, and I was getting super, super nervous that they were not going to get here in time. I can change my address with the post office, which is what I'm going to be doing um, next Friday, because it happens pretty much in instantaneously within a week or so. So actually, I think I'm going to do it this Friday. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, but I don't know whether or not package was packages would get shipped from one place to the other. So let's do a nice little, I don't even remember what I ordered now because it's been like two months. Um, but that's kind of fun, isn't it? Oh, I know what these are now. I know what those are. It's not book related, but I'll open them anyway in case you guys want to see them. Um, it took me a second to remember because I don't know about you guys, but when I order stuff online and I get the email, I keep all the emails in my inbox, like directly in my inbox until I get the item. And then that way I know I'm not missing anything because we do order quite a bit online. So I got a whole bunch of old Harlequins and I'm so, so super excited. So the first one I got is A Tale of Love by Alice Sharp. This is part of the Perpetually Yours series. This is actually a silhouette romance, which eventually merged with the Harlequin romance line. Um, and this one came out in 2006, May of 2006. But isn't that just such a delightful cover? Oh, Clearly, obviously, about a dog. Uh, you know, a couple and a dog. Love it. Cannot wait to read that one. And this is the thing with thrift books. They send them, like, piecemeal. Like, one in each bag. It's a little annoying, a little weird. Um, one or two sometimes. But typically just one. Seems like such a waste. The next one that I got is The Captain's Vegas Vows by Caro Carson. This is from October of 2018. A little bit more recent one. A Harlequin Special Edition. So yeah, this is part of the American Heroes um, collection or series. Looks really cute. Oh, there's two in this one. So now we have got... So glad I brought my scissors upstairs because I wouldn't be able to open these without them. Yep, come on. Oh, I hope I didn't just cut the book. That always makes me nervous. We have got here... A Mom for His Daughter by uh, Jean C. Gordon. This is a love-inspired, um, faith-based romance. 
really cute wintry scene there on the cover. Very nice. And then I got um, Seduced by the Operative by Merlin Lovelace. Oh, the, uh, the Love Inspired book came out in January of 2018. Uh, this one came out in December of 2009. Uh, yeah, so this is part of the Silhouette Romantic Suspense line. Uh, the covers on these have changed um, several times. They usually change several times throughout the years as they go. But yeah, looks spicy. Two more. Two more of the thrift books orders. It just seems like such a waste of packaging. But I think because it's shipping to Canada, it's probably super expensive to ship like something really heavy. I know my husband wanted to order a couple of hardcover books and the cost of shipping was actually going to be more than the books and we said no. Um, I got a Harlequin Intrigue Snow Blind by Cassie Miles. As you can see, I ordered these in early April when we were still having, uh, you know, horrible weather and not the beautiful sunny day that we have outside right now. <laughs> this one came out in September of 2014. Doesn't look like it's part of any series. Looks good. And then the last of the thrift book orders, I think. I actually did up a spreadsheet also so I could kind of keep track of what I had ordered because sometimes they don't all show up at once. Um, they just so happen to all show up at once today. And this way I can keep track of what I received as well. Yay, The Partner by Kay David. So uh, this is part of the Woman in Blue series and this came out in October of 04. Now, <clears throat> back when I was 26 and I am now 41, so you can go ahead and do the math. Um, I went on a cruise with my parents and my aunt, my dad's sister. We left the day after my 26th birthday. And this was right around the time that I started reading these, um, these Harlequins, like the Harlequin imprints. And I had been reading them the previous summer, but not really that much. And then I had been somewhere and I picked up, I think it was the second book in the series called The Children's Cop. I think I'm still waiting on that one to show up now that I'm saying that. But, um... And this, I believe, is the first in this series. And it's all about female detectives. So, you know, I really found it super interesting. And I remember a clear, clearly reading The Children's Cop on that cruise. And it's just funny how you, like, especially big things, like if you take a trip to Disney or you go to the islands or whatever it is that you do if you go on a vacation, if there's certain books that you're reading on that vacation, you tend to remember them more. Maybe that's just me. But I distinctly remember reading that book. So I got the first, and I think The Children's Cop is the second book in the series. So I got both of them, but I'm still waiting on the second one. So let's fingers crossed it comes by the end of next week because we technically have the apartment till the 31st and, um, which is a week this coming Monday. Well, you guys can look at a calendar and see when the 31st is. It'll only be in a few days from the time that you guys see this video. But, um, I, I hope it arrives in time because we're actually holding on, even though the move is kind of happening tomorrow we're still going to keep the keys for the apartment and do some last minute cleaning and cleaning out and stuff like that as long as we get the big pieces moved and like the boxes moved everything else can just be purged which is pretty much what we're going to do so anyway sorry i'm just rambling at this point but yeah this i i, I predict this is going to be a long video <laughs> so i'll show you guys this one even though it is not book related i'm like what came from the uk i ordered this on uh where did I order this from? eBay. Because, as you guys probably know if you've been watching me, you know I'm a knitter. The one thing I do not know how to do is crochet. I am rubbish. Rubbish at crochet. I have tried and have... I haven't really given it that much of a try, but I'd like to start trying more. So I bought myself a set of crochet hooks. This is from the Knit Pro Zings, which is a UK... I believe they're a UK... Well, I have the Knit pro zings in knitting needle form sorry these are single edged single ended crochet hooks comes in this nice little case so i'll just show this to you guys i know most of you are probably not interested in this at all then i'll get on to the last kind of book adjacent piece of mail they're really nice but i like the feel of the handle on my knitting needles so i thought that these might be nice um in crochet hook so i'd like to learn how to crochet but it's great for knitting blankets and things so yeah or toys that would be or crocheting toys and stuff like that so so yeah so that is the non-bookish oh well clearly that's great mm. so i guess we're just going to leave this open <laughs> i think it just hooks on though i'll play with that later we don't have time right now 
Last up. This is from a company that I found on Instagram and it's called Second Star Books. And they are bookish candles for bookish people. These are not candles though. These are actually wax melts because again, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know, one of my cats is asthmatic. And as such, I do not burn candles because it's the smoke that bothers him. It's not the scent so much, but the smoke. But I do have a Scentsy, oh, I have a couple of Scentsy um, burners because my sister-in-law used to sell it. And um, so I like to buy the wax melts and she was having a big sale where it was like buy two, get one free. And I couldn't say no to that. So I ended up getting three of them. I've never ordered from her before, but I'm super, super excited. I'll leave link to her uh, shop in the description box below. She's got some really, really fun scents, as you guys will be able to see if I can ever open the box. Um, I just don't want to hurt myself because <laughs> it's highly possible. Um, there we go. Okay. So what do we have here? Ooh. That smells nice. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, wow. That is so pretty, you guys. Look at that. And it's got a bit of a scent to it. I don't know if it's from the candles. And it says, um... Oh, it's Merry Christmas. So it's a Christmas ornament. So she must have had a bunch of these to get rid of. It says, Merry Christmas from Second Star Books, 2019. Okay, I'm totally going to have to order this year at Christmas to get the 2021. That is super cute. I might have to put a string around it, like maybe hang it. That'll be really cute, eh? I'll just put them down here for now. Oh, that's lovely. How sweet. I love it. All right. Oh, these are packed super well. I was I was a little bit worried how they were going to travel. Um, my receipt. So all three of them I received. So the first one I have here is Beach Ready, is what it's called. And it says sweet orange, pineapple, and vanilla. And guys, I can already smell it. So she's packages of them now, so they don't actually come in that clamshell, that little plastic container, that they come loose. Oh, that smells so nice. Oh my gosh. So I could break those in half and use them. So that's, that's delightful. And then I got, if you guys didn't know, I am a huge Golden Girls fan. Huge, 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 huge. So I got Shady Pines, <laughs> which is berries, brown sugar, and vanilla. So let's smell what that one smells like. And you get four in this size, which is a good size. I mean, like I said, I can break these probably into threes or fours. Oh, that smells so... I put it out too as if you could smell it. I'm sorry. Oh, but gosh, that smells delightful. It's always kind of a, you know, and hmm, when you order from order things online because it's like, is it going to smell the way I think it's going to smell? And then the last one, again, if you know anything at all about me, you know that I am a huge fan of the movie Clueless. I am not a huge movie watcher, but Clueless is hands down my favorite movie of all time. And this was a monthly one from August of 2019 and I had to get it and it's totally bugging. So it's the, it's her iconic, um, skirt and jacket set, which I do have a pair of leggings from Sweet Legs that have that exact same pattern on them. Um, and this is banana bear, uh, pear, berry, and pie crust. So I'm intrigued now to see what this one's going to smell like. They're a little dusty. Ooh, that actually smells really nice. So yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm excited about burning one of these. Oh, it's going to be great. So yay. Super, super happy with that. So that's it, guys. This is, like I said, 20 minutes. Sorry, I apologize. Um, the next clip might be just as long because I ordered 15 books from Harlequin. Um, but yeah, we'll get to that one next. Talk to you later. Bye. Hi, guys. Welcome to part three of this book haul or book unboxing, what have you. So I have my third and final package here. I did not know if this would be arriving before I wanted to get this video up, but it did. Um, and I'm super stoked. It is from Harlequin. Um, I placed an order on their website last week, I think it was, because they were having a Memorial Day 40% off. If you buy three or more books, you got 40% off. So how can you say no to a deal like that? So I immediately placed a large order. I think there's like 15 books in here. So yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> so 
let's go ahead and open this up. I am so excited. I cannot remember at all what I ordered, which always makes it more fun, right guys? Um, it's like a little Christmas present. So I'll just use the handy dandy scissors here. Pop it open. All right. So I much prefer to get my books from them via um, print book, mainly to add to my collection. And as well, I do not at all like the app that they have for their eBooks, this Gloose or Gloose or whatever it's called. It's really, I don't like it at all. It, it crashes every time I try and use it. So I don't even bother with their, if I buy eBooks from Harlequin or like Harlequin books, they are for the Kindle every time because they're just so much easier. I much preferred the way that they used to do it where you could actually download it and then I could read it on the device of my choosing, which was far better. But anyway, that's a complete side note. So here we go. Ready? Um, Infiltration Rescue by Susan Cliff. This is a romantic suspense novel. So I got to lean a little bit close so you guys can see. Sorry, the lighting's all weird and all those things, but as long as you guys can see the books, that's all I care about. I'm pretty sure what I did was I looked at my anticipated reads list from May um, for the Harlequins, and I picked most of those off of there. So if you've heard me mention these books before, that would be the reason why. And then we have Second Chance for the Single Mom by Sophie Pembroke, a Harlequin romance. And this one is, yes, from May. And this is considered to be a large print. If you guys can see that. Um, and then there's a regular, just, just to show you the difference. I don't know whether or not... Oh, I can show you guys the difference here. So the large print versus the regular. So yeah, there is a bit of a difference. And then we have... I love collecting these. Um, I'm trying to get all of them slowly if I see them at thrift stores or anything at all like that. And it's part of their best-selling author collection. This is Debbie Maycomber's Denim and Diamonds. So this is a two-in-one. So they give you the main story by Debbie Maycomber, Debbie and Diamonds. It says, free bonus story by Patricia Davids, which is always a another previously published work. Um, let me see here. Uh, a Military Match by Patricia Davids is the other story in there. But it's always a two-in-one, so it's a nice, thick you know, book to read through. So yay, I'm happy to have that one. I'd love to place an order of just those. But with their print books, you've got to get them right away because like once they sell out, they sell out. It's not, and they kind of go out of print on print book, but you can always get them via ebook if you want. Like, like I said, from Amazon, which is what I do. The CEO, The Puppy and Me, this one is brand new. This was one of the June releases that was on my anticipated reads that I just put out a couple weeks ago. And this one was voted on by a couple of you, but it didn't win. But I still really wanted to get a copy, so I did. Yay. Super stoked about that one. And then we've got Love Inspired. Winning Back Her Heart by Ali Platier, I think. So there's that one. I really like the new designs of the covers of these, of all of these. Like, even the, the other imprints. I think they're gorgeous. And then I got, oh yay, a Nicole Helm Back Country Escape. By Nicole Helm. That is fantastic. Yay. Oh, all this makes me just so happy. And since I'm in the middle of cataloging books and getting them all up on my shelves, this is perfect because I can do these later this afternoon. Coming to a crossroads. This one also came out in June. And again, I think I told you guys that I pre-ordered this one, but um, I decided to just get the physical copy of it instead of pre-ordering it for the Kindle. So I already have it now, though. That's the thing. The print books on the Harlequin site come out earlier, I think, than the ebooks on Amazon. So do keep that in mind. Um, again, by Marie Farinella. This is the one that she's like an Uber driver and uh, falls in love with one of her, um, I almost said patients, <laughs> clients. <laughs> He's the doctor. He would have patients. So yeah. Yay. And then we've got um, another Intrigue South Dakota Showdown, also by Nicole Helm. Let's talk about that cover. Wow. That's intense, hey? Eh? They both look really upset. <laughs> so this one should be good. I believe this is also part of the same, the Badlands Cops, which is the same as this one. They're both um, Badlands Cops novels. I don't know what number each of them is in the series, but um, yay for those. Um, and then we've got Starting Over in Wickham Falls by Rochelle Allers. Um, this one came out in May. So there we go. I believe, again, this was part of the anticipated rates for May. And then we have here Compromised into Marriage by Liz Tyner. This is an April um, uh, Harlequin historical. Very nice. 
And then we've got Claimed by a Steel by Brenda Jackson. Gotta love Brenda Jackson. And Hostage Rescue by Lisa Harris. A love inspired suspense novel. I try and mix it up and get something from like each of the different series if I'm going to place an order like this. Um, we have Vegas Vows at Texas Nights by Charlene Sands. Look at how gorgeous that cover is, you guys. Oh, her dress. That's, that's sexy, isn't it? Very nice. This is an older desire. It is from January <laughs> of 2020. <laughs> but really, like I said, these go, once they're sold out, they're gone. They, they do not do reprintings or anything at all like that. So if you want them, you got to get them right away. Um, and then we have, I had to get a Christmas one. In Love by Christmas. This is from December of 2019 by Carrie Lynn Webb. This is a Harlequin heartwarming novel. Very cute. And these are generally City by the Bay stories as the series. And these are larger print novels, just so you guys know. And then, last but not least, The Master's New Governess by Eliza Reigold. Yay. So excited. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Why do I feel like I'm missing a book, though? Hold on. Let me see here. Hmm. I guess I didn't order it. I must have had it in my cart and decided not to order it, so next time I go to Walmart... I'm going to have to pick it up, and that's The Yankee Widow by um, by Linda Leon Miller. It's her historical fiction novel um, that I really want to read, but it's now out in paperback. So I saw it at Walmart today, and I was going to pick it up. I'm like, no, wait, I just ordered that, but clearly I didn't. Maybe I ordered it from Amazon. I'll have to look at that. But regardless, <laughs> regardless, here we are. Here's the last of the book haul. Um, and yeah, super, super excited. So thank you guys all so very much for watching. Um, I know this was a long video. I do apologize for the length, but three separate hauls over the month of March or May, you know, and I'm going to think I'm going to continue to do this going forward just to, to make it a bit easier, but I will have a separate ebook haul for May coming up in the next week or so. So stay tuned for that. And until my next video, everybody take care and happy reading. Bye.